Hey YouTube, what's going on? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update today of XRP. Right now it's down 2.61%. And what we're going to do today is step back and we're going to look at support and resistance areas. So we're going to look at all the potential support that we have for XRP in the days and week to come and also what the resistance is going to be. And the reason why I wanted to do this for all of you here is I see so much out there. I don't get to watch many videos, but I at least see thumbnails of other creators in the space sometimes and they're saying you know XRP's going to a thousand dollars or XRP's going to five hundred dollars you've seen that a ton or you know Litecoin's going to a thousand dollars or Bitcoin you know two hundred thousand dollars by the end of the year and guys you just have to be careful in this space like I said I've been duped before when I first got in the space and I don't want that to happen to anybody who's on my channel here and what you have to realize is the actual support and resistance areas just in terms of even the resistance areas that you have to break through for XRP just to make it back to 50 cents and how much work and effort and time that could take if we're building a healthy trend to get to that 50 cents and that's what I'm trying to just show people here that you really need to look at the technicals and not just what people are telling you is going to happen because you can really get your hopes brought up and, and, and crashed hard in this market. So guys, that's what we're going to do here. We're going to look at the big picture here and I'm just going to show you stepping back what institutional investors are looking at. They pay a lot of attention to moving averages, support and resistance and trend lines. It's really important for them to look at those big support areas and what we do with price off them and also the resistance areas. Do we cut through them on big volume or are we weak once we get up to them? So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to step back and we're going to take a look at this. So if you get something from these videos, guys, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Like I said, I want to be real here to you. I want you to just look at it in the technical sense and have, you know, some awareness of what you would want to do by planning your trade and trading your plan or, or you know, trade your plan, have a plan. That's what you always need to have in this market is some type of a plan. That's what I can put out there for you. So when we're looking at XRP and we're stepping back here, you can see that we found a lot of support at 21 cents. So we ended up hitting it back here on a volume climax before we started a short term uptrend. We've had a doji candle. So a lot of fight between the bulls and the bears on heavy volume as well at that 21 and then we touched it again with a bullish engulfing candle here and we actually held that area of 21 cents and we came back up and now we're seeing resistance again at 23 cents so what we're doing now is bouncing between 21 and 23 cents and we're going to have to see which way we end up breaking are we going to break up on heavy volume or are we going to start breaking down on heavy volume i'm going to cover the downside first if we do break down what we need to see is 21 cents hold and what we're going to do is erase these as we go so it's not as cluttered but i just want to show you how much effort it takes just to get to the next level and that's how you have to look at charting so we're going to take off the 21 cents the next level that we would want to see hold is going to be at 18 cents that we have support the next one's going to be at 14 cents and then it's going to be all the way down at 12. And what I did, guys, I zoomed out on the one week and I was putting in the support and resistances from the one week where you could really see them. And that's what we were doing there. So those are the areas that you're going to want to look for a bounce off of if we start to move to the downside. Now, in terms of the upside, what we have to do first is get over 25 cents. 25 cents is going to be a strong area. It's just more of that round number. People know 25 cents, 50 cents, 75 cents, and a dollar. That's just something that's always on people's mind. Look for round numbers or just numbers that stand out a lot they can always act as support or resistance as well but overall we had a lot of support that was built here this was from August 13th all the way till September 16th we were moving sideways so that's an area we're gonna have to get back up through on a lot of volume where it's gonna be difficult for us to break up through that so if we get through that the next area we're gonna look at is 27 cents that's another spot and that's going to be right where we broke out of this triangle or the symmetrical triangle that we had. We had a strong break to the downside. So that's an area that's going to be significant for us. And then I would look up to around 31 cents is going to be a spot where we had this congestion over here. Let me get that one off. The next area we look at is around 40 cents right here. And then to basically shake out this entire downtrend that we've been in for quite a while now, almost six months, we would need to get back up around that 47 cents. We'll call it 50 cents. And guys, that's the significance of this. Think about it. We went from 50 cents all the way down 
to about 20 cents and it took us six months to do that. So when people are saying you're going to be a millionaire buying XRP or Litecoin or any of these coins overnight, it's not going to be that way. You really need to study this stuff and understand price action. Can sometimes, you know, through manipulation, we get a jack in the beanstalk and in the matter of a day, we go from, you know, 25 cents all the way up to 80 cents. Yes, that can happen in this space and that's why we're in this space. But Typically, guys, you don't see that type of movement all the time. Like we just saw, we had you know a move that went from 50 cents down to 20 cents in the matter of six months it took us to do that. So what we're trying to do now is find a bottom and finally start building where we're at right now so we can start making those moves to the upside and start getting through that overhead resistance, guys. So what I'm saying to you today is just to be cautious in this market. Always know that you don't want to FOMO into anything. You don't want to jump in real fast and, and put all your money in at once. You really want to have a plan and be prepared for a very volatile market because you know either way to the upside or downside, this market can really move extremely fast. And a lot of times it happens when us in America, we're sleeping overnight. So that's something you do want to keep in your back pocket and just keep in your mind. But just be cautious right now, guys. The trend still is down. If we throw on some moving average, you can see our 50-day moving average it trends down. 200-day EMA, we're below that. The 20, we're fighting with it right now. And then I also have the 40, which we're below. So the moving averages still are pressing down upon us. So we want to be careful with that. But we are getting to a lower point now where we should start to find support here you know, in the days and weeks to come and start building that floor so we can start moving back up again. That's what it's all about, changing the trend. So if you get something from this, guys, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I appreciate you all being here with me today. God bless. Take care.